Good morning, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, I'm going to be sharing with you a haul I got at Lakeshore, and I'll be back to share with you all the wonderful things we got. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a haul that I got at Lakeshore Learning, one of my favorite stores I love to shop at. It has the most amazing um, school, homeschool, regular school, any kind of school resources. So I have been going there since my daughter was little, and um, I still have so much of her stuff left over that I had, and it's 10 years old now. Um, maybe 11, some of it, when she was like three and four. So um, I do have a lot of her stuff. This is new things that I have purchased for Mason, who is going to be in um, kindergarten. And so I'm going to share with you some things that we got. And the first things I'm going to start, uh, this little map I got because we're going to talk about geography and we're going to be talking in our geography about the Little House series and Pioneer Days and where they traveled and places they went and locations and where they settled. And then on the back, uh, Mason can go ahead and color in the states. We can try to find them on the back where they settled in Minnesota and where they were and what all states were they in. So he's going to be able to do that. So I know he'll be excited about this. He wants a big boy's map, so it's perfect because he can... We can find the different places on here and then he can flip it over and he can do his own illustrations and put special little drawings on there to remind him where on the map we are. The next things I picked up, um, which I, were new to me this year, I have not seen them before, are these little journals. And the first one is called My Feelings. And... Um, I am really excited to get this because Mason uh, was uh, recently diagnosed with ADHD um, with other connections, so with adjoining circumstances and also with um, sensory processing disorder. So there's days where he is a little fidgety, um, he's got a lot of energy, he's not feeling up to things or wanting to do work or sit still. So we're going to talk about our feelings in our morning basket. And I'm going to let him tell me how he's feeling that day. And then why is he? I'm feeling today I feel happy because, and then I can jot it down for him. I want to know, why do you feel happy? Why do you feel sad? Why are you scared, mad, or surprised? So, and it's just a book and it goes through that and there's several pages. So just in case I got to, if I didn't have enough um, for the school year, I wanted to get um, two of those. The next one I got is a dot and learn journal and it's sight words. And we have the different dots, several different packs of those. So we're going to go through here and it's just got a lot of good refreshers. So it's got sight words. It's got, um, oops, sorry. Oh, that's kind of thick. Sight words over here. So it says find the sight words that have each and do it with blue. So we're going to go through here. Here's each and then his. So things that probably end with that. So all the, the ones that he can find and then his, he can look for that one. I think there's two on here or three and then he can mark them with these colors. I had to look at that for a minute before I went over it with you. And then this one is um, find the sight words again. And this is sight word search and then follow a path. So they're just really got some really great um, things in here for him to do. And he loves the dot to dot. I don't know if your kids do, but Mason absolutely loves them. So that's one of the uh, workbooks, another one of the workbooks I got. The next one I got is called Pull and Reveal Animal skeleton cards and includes 20 animal cards and mason is just fascinated this year with animals and we have um a unit study on mammals and so i know that he's really going to like this we're going to talk about ocean we're going to talk about the rainforest so we're going to cover s several different animals that i thought he would really enjoy these so these are for ages three and up and there's 20 cards that come in that pack the next one that I got him is South Ink Coin Stamps because we're going to be talking about money this year and we have some games that I had I have gotten and I'm going to do a video um, for gaming 
School Gaming Day, and I'll show you the different games that we have purchased for this year and ones that we had that I maybe did not show in previous videos. So I thought this would be good. He can stamp it, and then he can find the coin that matches it. So I like those really well. I did get measurement light up math activity so this is the measurement so he will measure the different sizes and it says includes a light up board with built-in storage 10 activity cards 20 inchworms and two rulers so you can mail them or you can measure them with different things so i'm excited about this i know he'll like it he loves to measure everything and then we have the earth science folder game and I had to order the, this was on sale too. It was regularly $24.99 on sale for $19.99. But I did get the social studies one also. But I like this. Because there's six activity folders, six sets of game pieces, six storage pouches, and activity guide. So I'm excited to do this one. And on the back, it kind of goes through the different ones um, with weather and understanding recycling and all kinds of fun things. So I'm excited about this. Next one I have here is a phonics and word recognition elementary folder games and it's for K through first grade and it just goes through gives you all the information what all comes in it and we are working on um, CVCs this year we're working on beginning sounds and ending sounds so I'm really excited for him to have this for the phonics word and recognition that'll be good for him. I did get him a couple different STEM activities. So this is the STEM science station, and this is all about magnets. He loves magnets. He, um, I have some of these magnets and different things that you can pick up. And this is be fun, though, because it has cards, and it says, how can you make the car move? And you can show different ways and different ones of the magnet ones that you'll be using to do that. And I think on the back, it gives you everything that comes inside the box. Exciting, exciting new school year. This is another STEM, and this is STEM Science Station Motion. So another fun one, how things move. How can you make something go farther? And it just gives you on the back side of this all the wonderful things that come in here. So we will love this also. I got some because his sister's doing biology and has a new... Um, microscope and slides um, I got him some prepared slides so this is on planets this one here is on animals and this one here is on insects so I thought he has a little microscope and we can go ahead and look at these why sissy is doing hers because everything she does he wants to do and I think that's common with five-year-olds wanting to do with their older siblings are doing this I got for his mud kitchen I did post pictures of his mud kitchen and this is just a vinyl smock I wanted to pick one up so when he's in doing the mud kitchen he's not going to be totally drenched and full of mud as bad as he would be without this so I picked that up this is really super cool it's called my body magnet activity board and it's just finding all the different parts so it talks about bones and it talks about organs and it's got all the different pieces here it talks about uh, magnetic activity board 16 magnets and activity guide and it shows 16 magnets and shows the major body parts so i'm excited about this because we're going to do one on nutrition and knowing my body so i thought this would be absolutely perfect i think the age range on this is three and up so that will be fun to do and then to go along with that I got um, things for nutrition your body just healthy things we should eat games that we can play and this one is called vegetables and fruits and it's called beanbag activity kit and I liked it because it comes with 20 activity cards so it's talking about a balanced diet it's talking about separate the fruits and vegetables talking about what vegetables are green what's the most um, the color that's most important to eat, uh, the most of. So it's just so much information in these. So I was really happy about those. And then I got this creative burger sequence stacker and it gives you cards and you have to learn to do patterns and sequences and then um, it gives you cards to just choose just the vegetables, leaving out the protein, which would be the cheese and meat. And then our dairy would be for the cheese and then the protein for the meat. And then he can build what he would like to have also. So this tells you or shows you uh, everything. Let me turn it this way. Everything that is in there. So that would be fun doing that unit study. 
I also got for, let me see, I gotta I have so much stuff piled behind me for um, nutrition. Um, this will go along with it. It includes four lunch trays, uh, four mats, 20 game pieces, game spinner, double sided instruction chart, and a, it's a write and wipe assignment. So you can have more than one. So we will play this with Mason and work with him on these so he can find out what the different food groups are, how you want to match those. And it just kind of shows you what it looks like on the inside. And there's 20 game pieces here. There's a game spinner, assessment card for lunch mats, and then the instruction chart. So we are excited to do that one. And then I did get some other um, learning centers. So this is a printing letters. And this just talks about practice making letters for up to four students. Um, I used to have a Montessori in-home private Montessori school. I'm a certified Montessori teacher. And I... Um, so that's why I bought four of everything else. So I thought on this one, I'm going to get four. So when I go to get rid of them, it will match the other ones um, that I had when my daughter was little. So this is nice because it has the white and ripe. It's got lowercase, uppercase, um, four wipe markers. You can clean double-sided instruction chart and wipe assessment card. And this is what it looks like on the back. So these are going to be great for him to practice his upper and lowercase. And then we got the life cycles. I don't know if you watched many of my videos, but if you have, I'm really into life cycles. And for my kids to be able to have this is just awesome. So once again, I picked up the four pack. Just so if we want to all do it, Daddy and me and Sissy and Mason, this works out perfect. And then it just shows you once again on the back what all it has. And it's 16 game pieces. Shows you the four stages of life cycles. So fun, fun, fun. The next one I got is called Squeeze, Scoop, and Count Ice Cream Shop. So it's our hands-on set makes developing fine motor skills and counting skills, and it's a real treat. So there's comes with 30 different foam balls. It's got two different trays. It's got the ice cream holder activity guide. And this I thought I could use with Mason, not only for counting uh, up to 10, he can count to 20. He can always subtract. We can add more. We can tell the different colors. We can make a sequence and a pattern. So that is why. And this is everything that comes with that. I thought, how fun. Ice cream. Who doesn't want to learn with ice cream? That sounds amazing to me. This is a magnetic number fishing set, and it kids cast their lines and reel in essential number skills. So it's got four pails with safe magnetic hooks, magnet numbers, one through 20, activity guide, floaty numbers, let's play in or out of the water. So this, how fun would this be? We love playing in water. So I thought this would be good. This is what comes all in it. And he will have fun. He loves fishing. He's got his own fishing pole. And he wants to go fishing with Daddy real soon. This one is a button sorting center. And this is for children's ages 3 and up. It um, explores shapes, colors, sizes, numbers, and more as they start um, sort colorful buttons. And the reason why I wanted to do this, because some of them have two holes in there. Some of them are medium, some are red, some have different shapes. So there's lots of different activities. There's 15 different activities activity mats that he can do with this let's flip it over and so i just thought there's so much that talks about shapes it talks about sizes number of holes colors and there's just so many things it says that children can do um, to uh, multiply sort for example sorting the buttons by size they can take out the shapes mats and sort all the large buttons by shape they can then sort all of the heart shape buttons by color so there's just uh, so many different things to do with this so i thought he sometimes will say purple when it's pink or pink when it's purple. Um, so I just constantly want to be reminding him of colors and just reminding him of, you know, purple looks like this and this is pink. And we are doing Spanish this year and we talk about colors and he knows most of those in Spanish also. So that would be fun, I thought. Here's another fun one I thought would be good to do with like nutrition or my, the body, the human body, because it talks about food and it's got soup and it talks about um, sight words, soup, level one. And this, there's eight mats, 100 sight word pieces. So you scoop and match sight words to build reading skills and hands-ons. And this is four and up. So how fun is this? And it kind of gives you, covers 25 sight words. And it's just so cute. I just loved this game. So excited about that one. 
uh, another one that I got is Touch and Match Guessing Game. So you feel and find cool objects to build matching skills. So there are 30 objects assorting textures, shapes, and weights. There are 30 corresponding picture cards, one minute timer, and activity guide. So he has to kind of feel to see if he can figure out what it is and then find the matching card. And then this shows you all the pieces that are on the back. So it says, I am an orange or an octopus, a spider or a sponge. Tactile observation skills get a fun workout as children try to identify familiar objects by touch alone. So how fun is that? Multiply levels of play, um, including time challenges, make time, uh, make this game idea for beginners or experts. So it's really fun. There's 30 picture cards, one timer, and like I said, 30 objects. So I thought this would be a lot of fun to do. And developing some great skills. Uh, the last thing, well not the last, but uh, out of this group is the PEG number boards. And get uh, children get tons of practice counting from 1 to 10 with these giant colorful PEGs and PEG boards. So you, what's included, you get um, 10 4 by 8 foam numbers and 60 plastic PEGs. But what I do is like 1 plus 3 and then find the 5 PEG boards. So... I like that. So that's why I got this for math, just developing her math, hand coordination, and just being able to get in. And he's very tactile. He loves things. And he's, um, you know, visual, but he likes, you know, to touch everything. So he is, I think that's part of his sensory processing disorder is the feel of things or things that are proper texture. And he did really like these. So I went ahead and picked these up. The last things I got, one of the, the, I guess this is the last thing that I got, was in um, the sale because the paper off the back was missing. It got bumped or bent or something, but I wanted it because they're the community workers, and it goes through, there's 12 workers, doctor, surgeon, farmer, soldier, teacher, scientist, pilot, firefighter, businesswoman, mail carrier, police officer, and electrical technician. So I'm excited because um, we are going to do a study on community helpers and how important they are and the respect we need to have for them. So that was the um, last thing that I did get. And this was on a big sale. It was like 25% off and an extra 30% off because the paper was missing. So hopefully you have liked this video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything I bought and if I did not explain it correctly or any questions at all, just leave them down in the comments. Go ahead. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Click that little icon bell and that way you'll be notified whenever I make my next video. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, blessed Friday and an awesome weekend. Bye-bye now.